Hi, Chris Locke, 2014 SHOT Show in the Black Hawk booth. I uh, just want to run through a couple of our, our product launches over the last year here. Uh, what you see here in all these uh, really uh, uh, bright colors is our diversion line of products. So what, what it was driven by was we actually had a need for uh, covert operators, law enforcement, military personnel to move equipment and firearms uh, covertly from place to place, the rectangular discrete bag, no longer discreet, everybody knows there's a gun in it. So we needed to take it a step further. And then we also noticed so many of our, our uh, customers across the board, uh, civilian, military, law enforcement, uh, are living in more urban environments, so townhomes and uh, apartments, things like that. And you don't want a bad element to know you have a firearm, essentially, because it just makes you a target for theft. And, uh, just to avoid any kind of unwanted attention, we, we created a line of products that allows you to uh, carry your firearms if you're going to the range, whatever, to, to do it without drawing a lot of attention to yourself. So uh, this is a prime example of that. It's our diversion racket bag. So it is a purpose-built gun case. If uh, closed cell foam, padded liners, and uh, Velcro lining so you can put a uh, extra pouches in, mag pouches, things like that. Locking slider so you can lock it out so for passive uh, uh, security to keep people from getting inside. You don't want to if you you know got kids around, whatever, want to lock it up. And uh, yeah, just so, to allow you to transport anything, firearms up to 29 inches basically. So anything with a folding stock or an AR-15 you can take apart in the upper and lower halves if it's a full 16-inch barrel and use that padded divider to transport. So, just a, a more, uh, the next level of discreet, I guess, to replace the discreet case. And then here we've got a couple examples of handgun carry. So, uh, off-body carry, not our preferred method, but there's sometimes when it's just the most practical option. So, we uh, did a couple of different packs to do that with. This is the Diversion Carry Backpack. So, just like you'd expect from Blackhawk, really high quality, well-made bag, well thought out, lots of pockets, storage areas, uh, key fobs, all the things like you'd expect to have in a Blackhawk bag. But then we've also got this compartment in the back that's got a loop patch, loop panel on it, so any of our hookback accessories, and it's got a universal holster in it. And we make these zip from the bottom so that when it's on your shoulder, you can get to it from either side. But for additional security, you're in a really thick crowd, you want to limit the amount of access. You can take these guys and tether them down to these D-rings, uh, use a key ring, something like that, to lock it out. And then you still have access to your handgun through this hidden lumbar pad access panel. So you can, you can stage this in any way where you can get quick access, get into your handgun yet, but then when it's on your back, it's totally secure. And then the other handgun option we've got here. So this is a, uh, a sling pack. So it's an ambidextrous pack. You can switch from left to right shoulder and we've got access on either side. And then again, lock out sliders so that you can lock out the side you're not using and not accidentally have that open. Carry it across your back, bring it to the front, have access to your handgun. Some people are actually, I've seen them carrying it with it, just carrying it in the front, staged, ready to go. But it, it uh, not as, uh, not as obnoxious as a fanny pack, and, uh, and uh, carries a larger firearm as well. These things will carry anything up to, uh, we've had Glock 21s and Beretta 92s, full-size guns. In. Kind of a little summary there, the diversion line from Blackhawk, concealed carry options and uh, discrete options for transporting firearms.